In St. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians that we hear in today's liturgy, we hear those words that we are impelled by Christ to do what? We're impelled by the love of Christ to do what? What does that word impel mean? Well, to be like compelled or impelled like it is, or it could be to be motivated, to be given that strength to go out and do what we're called to do as followers of the Lord Jesus, which isn't always easy, is it? Some of the things we're called to do is to grow into a greater relationship with God, the Father, through his Son, Jesus, who reconciles the world to himself. To ourselves be reconciling people. To be people who allow our faith to grow and to use that faith rather than let it wither and die. We're also called to be ambassadors for Christ. An ambassador is one who goes out to a foreign land. They risk a lot of things, sometimes their very lives, to bring about the policies of their government to people who might or might not want to be hearing it or be open to it. But we are called as ambassadors to bring forth the message of the Lord Jesus, the good news of peace and justice, of truth and reconciliation. And you know, those can just be words, social justice, peace, love, truth, all that, unless we put flesh on the bones of those gospel values. How can we put flesh on the bones by bringing the gospel to our everyday life? Can we as Catholic Christians talk about gun control or weapons of war? Can we talk about immigration reform or things along that nature, things that are risky to talk about, that are difficult to talk about, pro-life issues? Any ambassador might shirk from that, but not us who are Christian ambassadors, because God tells us through his son Jesus in today's gospel, let your yes mean yes and your no mean no. Speak simply, directly, the good news as we are ambassadors for Christ in this world.